Welcome. Many thanks indeed for calling through this afternoon on Thursday. It's the 8th of December. It's Peter with you, live from my office, during racing. Uh, early broadcast time today, just 3pm, uh, but we're ready to roll for tomorrow's action and uh, ready to roll in some style as well. Uh, well, I've got some real big ammunition for you on this line for tomorrow, Friday. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a big Friday payday. Uh, I've got a maximum bet for you coming up in a moment, which runs at Wolverhampton on Friday. I'm going to give you that free of charge. And I've also got a, a big price one, which runs at Southall, uh, ridden by a jockey who ridden, uh, rode a 16 to 1 winner for me uh, the other day on a Monday Madness bet. Uh, his name is Luke Morris, and uh, I'll give you that one free of charge in just a moment. And uh, also, I've got three horses, uh, really, really power bets. All I expect to be uh, around about 8, 10 to 1 to your money. They're running at Wolverhampton, Southall and Dundalk. And I'm putting them up as a Friday payday. Uh, Trixie, Friday payday Trixie. A special bet. And uh, if you want to put those three bets in a combination with the two free bets I'm going to give you, which are also going to be uh, big prices, uh, I wouldn't blame you one little bit. I'm ultra confident of this being an absolute welterweight payout for all players and I'll be absolutely uh, very very shell-shocked if we don't come up with a big big payout on Friday and uh, I really mean that as well. I didn't tell you wrong today didn't I? Uh, I got five bets out last night on the line. Uh, two of them are non-runners Lazy Sunday and Bella Union. Uh, those two are non-runners and only one has ran so far but boy, oh boy, did I tell you, eh? What did I tell you? I told you, six noughts next to its name. And the horse was 25 to 1 when I gave it you last night. It was backed into 16 to 1. And it absolutely hammered our position. Just as I told you it was. I didn't leave you any doubt once again. 25 to 1 into 16 to 1. The horse was called Forced to Frap. And uh, impossible to find, really, without a Jodrell Bank telescope or a crystal ball. I do have a crystal ball. But I didn't need it to find that because I knew all about it. But I knew the horse was well weighted and it was unfashionable trainers and jockeys. And I told you over and over again that I felt that horse would win. And uh, the bookies had no chance of finding it. And it still went off at 16 to 1, even though it's 25 to 1. Forced to frap in the 1 o'clock at Taunton. There's still two horses to run today. I'm not going to repeat them. Uh, nearly 1,700 people called in. Uh, one bet, one winner today so far. Forced to frap, 25 to 1. And uh, where else could you get it, eh? Where else could you get it? It's not been the only winner, and I'm going to give you all these extra bets in a minute. I'm going to give you a maximum win bet at Wolverhampton on a horse I think will win. It should be a decent price, 5, 6 to 1. You can never tell what prices you are, especially with a big following like I've got on this channel. Uh, it does dry up the markets often. Uh, there's too many onto one, and the bookies shorten them right up without taking a penny piece. And I'm sure they're tuning in as well. And uh, that really hit them hard today, forced to frap, and uh, I love that. I love hitting bookmakers hard where it hurts. It doesn't hurt anywhere else than the till. And uh, that's the greatest, greatest pleasure I get from beating them bookmakers uh, where it hurts most, the till. And, uh, well, uh, forced to frap did certainly that. And I've already had, I must be 30 or 40 emails through to my racing office thanking me. Well, that's all right, that's all right. Because I told you, I've had a million views on this channel in the last two years, one million views. YouTube have presented me with that trophy. One million views. But I'm going to have a million next year on its own. So a million in two years is going to turn into two million in three. Uh, because I'm looking to get 3,000 views a day on my channel. And I'll tell you, the only way I can do that is to pick horses like that, what I've done for you today. Uh, forced to frap, 25 to 1, one bet, one winner. Who cannot, who cannot tune in to my channel when horses like that are coming out the crowds? Well, they're not the only ones, are they? Heritier de Silva won at 9-1 to one, and Merlin Giant won at 9-2, to two, creating a 54-1 to one double on Sunday. And last Tuesday, I know I'm repeating myself, but listen, nobody else in the world can do it. Nobody else is doing it. Last Tuesday, a 250-1 to one treble with Never Dark, 7-1. La Raz, La Paz, La Rav, 9-1 into 11-4. And Gold Cup Bailey winning at 130, 250-1 treble. That was followed the next day by Man on a Mission, which won at 11 to 1. Lebowski won at 9 to 2 on Saturday. Amor de Mi Vida was an extra madness bet, which won at 16 to 1 last Monday. 
and massive load of each way prices, trebles with Spitfire Girl, Blue Carioco, Ballymagrory Boy, and so many, so many more. I've hit some amazing wins, and that one today was another amazing one. And if anyone doesn't believe that, then reach, watch the video again. I left you no doubt that that horse, 25 to 1, would win. And uh, it duly did. I'm really pleased for everyone. I'm really pleased myself because I had a right junk on it each way. I thought it would be there or thereabouts. And I thought it, I thought to be honest, it would win. But you can never be sure. And it duly absolutely bolted up. Miles ahead of the handicap. It, it had been got ready to win. And we was on it to a man and a girl and woman and lady and anything in between. Congratulations, everyone. I'm absolutely delighted for you. Right, I'm going to give you two new bets today, free of charge, coming up in Una Memento. They run at Wolverhampton and they run at Southall. I say one of them is ridden by Luke Morris, who rode a 16 to 1 Monday Madness winners for us, for the clients who paid £10. Absolutely brilliant. And a lot of people did play. A lot of people are playing these extra bets. And uh, with horses, what I'm giving you on the main line, bolting him right, left and centre, it's just it's just how much money you're going to make on these extra bets. Because combined with the main line as well, gives you extra dimension, gives you another dynamic to put them in doubles and trebles. For instance, today I've got three extra bets. They're running at Dundalk, Wolverhampton, and they're running at Southern. No problems with the ground conditions. We've got no surprises. I think all three have got amazing chances of winning and I'll be shell-shocked if you don't get a winner. I'll be amazed and I'll be astounded. They're all big prices. They're all big prices. They've all got no form to recommend them. But then what does that mean to me, as you well know? What I look for are horses with no form, horses which are coming down the handicap, but being got ready to land the job. All right? They're not necessarily being landed to bet winners to do the job, but to get the stable a winner to make the owners happy and to keep the owners with the stable. Smaller stables need to keep their owner, retain them. Just like I like to retain you as customers of mine and to watch the channel and to keep with me. It's the same thing. They respect their customers and the only way they can do it is to get them winners, e.g. me and you. i got to get you winners to keep your attention. And that's how it works. Winners keep people. Winners keep owners. Winners bust bookies. There's the hat trick. Bust their bookies big time. Well, we might not bust them because it's not their money, is it? It's shareholders' money or it's conglomerate money. But we can give them a good seeing to and take it off them and get them whinging and cringing in the corner and having meetings. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Right, listen. Three bets. I would think it's going to come to about a thousand and one treble. Click below for a tenner, you're in. It's the PayPal or the bank to bank, whatever you're going to play. Remember, once you click the PayPal, you need to write to my office, which then send you the bet. My office is petersracingtips at gmail.com. Once you've done that, it automatically picks up that you've paid. And then it sends you the bet post ace. It's just a well, seconds, really. But uh, that's what you're going to do in that order. Go and pay the tenner. Then email petersracingtips at gmail.com. It's all written below. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's doing it, they say. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's doing it. A lot of people are doing it. Larry Long laughs. And more people are going to keep doing it because I'm going to keep winning more. And that's it. It's very addictive winning, isn't it? Addictive, isn't it? Winning is addictive. So there's the three bets. And you combine them with these two free bets, which I'm going to give you, if you so wish, which would give you a lucky 31. Yeah, lucky 31. Or um, five-timer, Yankee Plus, 57, Heinz, whichever way you want to play it. But what it will do is give you five amazing chances of backing a winner on Friday, which you can put in multiples, and it's just a tenner to get the extra three. And I'll tell you again and again, I had a 16-1 to 1 winner on Monday on those extra bets. I'm telling you again and again and again, they are my strongest possible bets. And you've just seen a 25-1 to 1 winner today, which I said would win. I didn't say it'll run well. I tell it a win. And I've done that over and over again with the Ritchie de Silva, with Merlin Giant Maximum, and all the other lot. And I'm telling you, my strongest possible bets for a tenner, you get three of them, three quid each. It's like a pittance, not even the price of a cup of coffee. If you want to back some big winners, they're waiting for you. And uh, I think all these three are going to be big. I think they'll be around eight or ten to one to your money. Even if they're all eight to one, it'll pay over 600 to one, 700 to one the treble. 
It's absolutely milking the bookies dry and it's just a question of how much money we're going to make over the next 12 months together on this channel. And I'm giving you the very best of information on the main line, but on my extra bets, my extra madness bets, my extra tricksy bets. I'm giving you everything I can to make you win money because that's the only way I can get to where I want to be. Two million views, all right? So we've both got an agenda here. I'm giving you winners. I'm giving you everything I've got because I want you to stay on my channel. And the only way I could do that is to win Rocky Win. And there we go. All right, so if you want the three, click on the PayPal link below, get yourselves on board. And uh, as Jimmy Wheeler said, aye, aye, that's your lot. And then all you've got to do is email my office, petersracingtips at gmail.com, and uh, you will be up for a Friday sensational day of excitement ahead with five absolutely glorious bets all big prices and all recommended by me to you and as you would know already i won't tell you wrong i'm here to give you everything i can to help you win okay let's go to the 340 shall we for a freeman free bet freeman hardy willis as they say the old shoe shops in leicester freeman hardy willis go to the 340 at leicester i've got two bets coming up for you one is at Southall and one is at Wolverhampton. So let's go to the Wolverhampton bet, which I'm going to give you free of charge. After a 25 to 1 winner today, can I follow it up? I think so. I think so. I'm going to take you to Wolverhampton for the 340. I'm going straight on the nose with this because I don't know what price it is. But it should be decent price, 7 to 2, 4 to 1, maybe 5 to 1. But I'm going all in. Number two, Nick Vedder, trained by Robin Brisland and ridden by Ryan Sexton. I'm all over this gelding. I think it's got an amazing chance. Runs in a stinking race, a 0-52 uh, handicap. It really is a very, very poor affair. Nine runners go to post. Check the price. If it's four or five to one, back it each way. I can't kick it out of the frame, and I can see it winning. And I think it's got an amazing chance. No, no, I'm going to rephrase that. I know it's got an amazing chance. Number two, Nick Vedder. Robin Brisland and Ryan Sexton combined. The horse is running off a low mark of 52. It ran a blinder last time at Kempton, went third uh, behind a horse called Twilight Revenge. A, a similar, it went off at 40 to 1 that day. It wasn't fancy for a penny. And, and let me just tell you, and I love telling you this, that the last five times this horse has run, uh, you haven't seen it with the Jodrell Bank telescope, as I always say. 6th of 8, 9th of 10, 9th of 12, 13th of 14... It went off at 28, 40, 28, 66. I'll say no more about why that happened. But let's just say the horse wasn't fancied by too many people. But last time, last time, as they say, it ran at Kempton and still went off at 4 blind 40, but ran well. Third of 13. I don't think they can stop this one today from winning because I think this has got an unbelievable chance. The gods of teletext can't stop it. The gods of teletext. Do you remember that? The gods of Channel 4 Teletext. Great days. Great days. Marvellous. Marvellous. Great days. Number two, Nick Vedder, 340 at Wolverhampton is your first free bet of the day. And I believe that will win. I really like it an awful lot. You never can be sure. You certainly can't. But I think it's got everything in its favour. It ticks all the boxes. And I've got it uh, well clear on my figures and I think it's got to go close, and I think it will take some beating, that's for sure. Not in the physical term, of course, I don't like that at all. Right, so the second and final bet of the day is a horse ridden by a very good friend of mine, not personally, not personally, but because he trained, he rode a big winner for me on Monday, the Monday Madness, and that was a 16 to 1 winner. His name is Luke Morris. And Luke Morris rides in the race I'm going to be talking about in one second here. And I think he'll ride a winner. Now then, don't forget, for the final time, if you want the three extra bets for a tenner, you, all you do is click the PayPal link below, pay a tenner, and write to my office, Peter's Racing Tips at gmail.com, and put Trixie or Friday Bet, anything you like, put what you like in the header. It's going to give you the bet. And I'll tell you what, I think these three bets at Dundalk, Wolverhampton, and Southall are my strongest bets for a very long time. And I, believe me, I want you to win more than you'll ever know, right? Because I want those three million, I want those, I want those two million, I want, I, I want all the views, all right? And the only way I can do that is to give you the winners. Let's be sensible, I need to win. 25 to one shot today, free of charge. If you want some more of that, I'll give you the chance. Invest in yourself. 
because I won't tell you wrong. Right, final bet, 7.15 at Subbo. Let's have a bit of fun here, eh? Number one, it's called Light Up Our Stars. Trained by Scott Dixon, a very, very personable man, Scott Dixon, and Luke Morris, the sniper on board. Well, Luke, as I say, fresh from a 16 to 1 winner for me on Monday. I think he'll ride another one here with this one. Light up the stars. I'm all over it. It ran really well last time up. Uh, a, a, a 6 of 10 doesn't tell the story. This is another one which has been going off at massive odds. 18s, 11s, 11s, 14 and 12. Not been sighted this one, although it did finish second at Newcastle a few runs back. It's off a winning mark here of 75. And I've got this horse as uh, Rel potentially potentially thrown in at the weights. Been running in 90 rated, 85 rated horses. Uh, and it's just going to feel like it's, again, slow coaches here. Uh, I'm all over it. I've no idea what the price is going to be, but the form figures, 656, six, you know, it, nil, nil, nil. I, it should be all right for an each way, but I think it'll win. I do. But if you want to back them both each way, Nick Vedder and light up your stars, I wouldn't blame you. Check the prices. You know what you're doing. Check the prices. Check the prices. Check the prices. And then give it an old one, two. Bang, bang. And let's give them bookies what they deserve. Let's give those bookies what they deserve to get them crinklies out there till give you the money and go in the corner and cry. And then they have to ring up, don't they? They have to ring up. Boss, we've lost again. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What's happened this time? Well, no. 25 to 1 winner, boss. Really? You're fired. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Enjoy it. Three extra bets. Three Trixie bets. Three Friday paydays. Friday music days. They're all waiting for you tomorrow at Dundalk at Wolverhampton and Silver. I honestly, honestly, honestly couldn't fancy him any more than I do. And I love Nick Vedder. I love Light Up The Stars. I love the, the, the big one today, Forced to Frap. And we've still got two more to come. And two non-runners. So if you had the lucky 31 today, you've already got three payouts. We're up for a big, big night of betting tonight. And tomorrow is going to be even bigger. I won't tell you wrong. I never do. I'm here to give you everything I've got. 40 years and 45 years of experience in the business. 25 to 1 winner today that I told you would win. And I've got three more lined up on the extra bets, which I'm just as confident about. You can only help you if you help yourself. Click on the PayPal link below. Write to Peter's Racing Tips at gmail.com. Let's make some money.